Hi, my name is Lucy Truman. I am the Managing Director of Truman Change. And today I'd really like to talk to you about communications during change programs. So I've got three top tips for you today. But before we launch into those tips, I do want to just reflect on a couple of things that you might want to think about as we go through the video. So the first one is pretty much almost every organisation I've worked in, when senior managers have said, yeah, we're doing fine, we've got loads of communication. When you speak to the workforce or the customers or whoever is part of that, um, they, it doesn't resonate with them. People say they don't feel heard. People say they can't um, access information. People say they don't know what's going on. The second thing is um, we have to understand that change does provoke an emotional response in lots of people. So it makes people worried and stressed and fearful. And therefore, whatever your normal level of communication is in your organisation during normal business as usual times, when you are going through a change programme, you need to up your game. You need to communicate much more than you would do normally. So with those things in mind, um, top three tips. Number one, communication should be two way. It should not be telling people things. It should be hearing as well. So are you doing that? Do you have the space for that and the facility for that? So that's a really important thing to think about. Tip number two is mix up your channels and your approach to communication. So professional marketers know that the most successful marketing campaigns are when people get hit with information from a variety of different sources. So what are you doing? Don't just do an email out to all your staff. Can you do newsletters? Can you do video updates? Can you do conferences? Can you do face to face stuff? What can you do where you consistently repeat in the same message, but on a variety of different forums, because that works much more effectively than just using one. And the third tip, which is arguably the most important, is make sure when you are communicating with people, when you're formulating those key messages, you are very clear what will be different for them, not you. And this is a mistake I see often. When people talk about their change program, they talk about it from a process place. They talk about milestones and reports. What they don't talk about is what is the change that you are asking that person to make? Because that's what they care about. That's what they'll connect with. That's what they need to hear. So try wherever possible to get your head out of the sort of strategy of it and into when you communicate and this is what it means to you. Communicate with your audience in mind. I hope that's been helpful. Um, I think if you combine those things with that knowledge that it's probably not enough, it's nearly always not enough, so you can nearly always do more. And hopefully that will set up your change program in a much more successful way where your staff feel much more engaged and people can, can drive this program forward with you. If you need some help, please do get in touch. We deliver, we help to design change programmes and we help to deliver them too. And um, so if it's just extra resource you need or just a bit of advice, please do feel free to get in touch.